Praise the Lord. And the song that says, Watch ye therefore, you know not the day when the Lord will come, take your soul away. So we must therefore labor, striving for the right, for we shall wear crown. So we want to say praise the Lord to everybody. And we thank God for another day's journey. Amen. Amen. Truly God is good and he's worthy to be praised. Uh, so right now we want to go before the Lord in prayer. My, my goal tonight is, is to go it out. Let's see how that see how that works out. Uh, so we want to go before the Lord in prayer. And if you have a particular prayer request, you can let it now be known. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord, to say thank you, and we praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. We pray, Lord, for a successful Bible study on tonight. Let your spirit, let your anointing rest rule and abide with us. And we pray, Lord, for each and every request that made known. Bless all the bereaved families, Lord. Send for comfort, send for peace and strength. Bless Christian ministries in a mighty and a special way. And Lord, we pray that you will continue to be in our midst, yes. walk in our life, in Jesus' name, amen, amen. All right. I want you to turn with me uh, back over to Matthew chapter 25. And uh, on Sunday, we dealt with uh, the return of Jesus and being ready. And in this chapter also, Jesus is, is, is still continually talking about being ready. We dealt with the ten virgins, and virgins represent particular members in the church waiting for uh, the bridegroom to come. And we should be waiting for the bridegroom to come, Jesus Christ. And uh, just before Jesus was caught up in the book of Acts, chapter number one, it tells uh, that he was caught up in the clouds after he had gave the commandments unto his disciples. And when he was received into the clouds, the angels said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye here gazing? Now, for this same Jesus uh, that you've seen Go in the clouds, coming back again. Amen. So he's, he's going to come back. And the Lord has on our hearts for us to prepare for his coming. And uh, because he's coming. Amen. He's coming. There should be no doubt in our mind that he's coming. And we want to be ready. Amen. We want to be ready for his return. And... Uh, the, when we dealt with the, the virgins, the ten virgins, they were supposed to be watching, waiting for his return. So in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 14, uh, we want to deal with the, the parable of the talents. The parable of the talents. And 
The parable of the talents is dealing with what we should be doing in preparation for his return. What we should be carrying out on our day-to-day -day living and our day-to-day -day activity for his return. We ought to be uh, busy for the Lord, working in the kingdom, in the kingdom of the Lord. For we are literally his servants. We're his servants. And he has given each of us <coughs> talents. All right, so let us look at then Matthew chapter 25, and ask our reader to read, uh, beginning at verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, mm -hmm. who called his own servants and delivered them unto his goods. Uh, okay. Unto them his goods. All right. So uh, Jesus is still communing with us and talking to us about the kingdom of heaven. And the kingdom of heaven represents the, the dominion of God. And if we were to get real specific, the kingdom of heaven is within us. It's within us. It came through the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, without, without observation, the Bible says. And that kingdom, that power and authority, it resides within us. And uh, it says a man traveling into, it's like a man traveling into a far country. And that uh, signifies Jesus' first advent here upon this earth. He, he came from heaven and dwelt here among us. And uh, he literally, the Bible says, he gave good gifts unto men. He gave us some good gifts. Amen? So that we would utilize our gifts for the kingdom, for the kingdom of heaven. So notice what he said. He says, it's like a man traveling into a far country. Notice, he called his servants. And uh, God literally calls us through the gospel. The gospel is the means by which God calls us into the kingdom. Because the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Anytime anybody uh, that is not uh, saved, so to speak, I'm using it in this respect, hears the gospel, that's God calling them uh, to come in, to come into the kingdom. And we ought to obey the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is the power of God, as we always said, unto salvation. <laughs> Amen? Uh, so, so he called his servants and delivered unto them his good. All right? Read. And unto one he gave five talents, uh -huh. to another two, yeah. and to another one. Uh -huh. To every man according to his own several abilities. Yeah. And straightway took his journey. All right, we're in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 15. All right, so he said, he says here that unto one he gave how many? Five. Five talents. To another he gave what? Two. Two. And to another he gave one. Right? And notice what he said. To every man according to his what? Several. Several abil ability. And straightway he took his journey. So the talents uh, uh, in this day represented money. Uh, and through the process of time, it comes to represent abilities. Abilities. And uh, God, he literally gives us abilities. Amen? And, and God, uh, how can I say it? Here, help me here, Holy Ghost. He gives us abilities according to who we are. Amen? So, so he's not going to give you uh, more ability than what you can handle. And he's not going to give you less ability than you can handle. 
And we see here by this parable that, that some uh, will bring forth 30, some will bring forth 60, and some will bring forth a hundredfold. Amen? So, so as they say in the, uh, in the giving of offerings, let me use that as an example. If uh, uh, we all have different stations in life and our bank accounts are different, amen? amen. So it may not be equal giving, but God uh, wants us to have equal sacrifice. Huh? You may not, we all may not have the same type of talents, but he wants us to utilize our talents with the same sacrifice. In other words, if he gives you one, he wants you to get 100%. Uh, if he gives you five, he wants you to give a hundred percent. If he gives you two, he wants you to give a hundred percent. Amen? Be faithful, as the scripture says, until when? Until death. Amen? And, 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 uh, like we said earlier, that Jesus, the Bible says, he led captivity captive and he gave good gifts unto us. Amen? And, and some of these gifts, he gives us at birth without repentance. Uh, he gives us some gifts at birth without repentance. But then there's other gifts that he gives us when we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. He put treasures within us. For us to utilize for his kingdom. Remember our Bible study, our, the crux of our Bible study is preparedness, being ready for his return. And, and we can go through some scriptures, but you know, I don't, wanna, I don't necessarily want to do that. But, but the Lord is going to reward us according to how our work shall be. There's going to come a time when we all are going to be appear before the throne of judgment. Amen? To receive of what we have done in our body. Uh, with our talents. Amen? With what he has given us. Am I right? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Alright? So read that verse 15 again. Matthew 25. Uh-huh. And unto one he gave five talents. Yes. To another two. Mm -hmm. To another one. Yes. To every man according to his several ability. Yes. And straightway took his journey. So he gave these talents, everyone, to their according to his their several ability. He gave it to us according to our abilities. Hey, Ben. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Now, I got a whole other conversation going on in my mind. You know, because, because, uh, well, we believe really <laughs> right. uh, uh, Go quickly over to, uh, hold that, we're going to go back. But go over to 1 Corinthians chapter number 4 and verse number 7. Uh, we'll just read verse number 6, but verse number 7 is what I want. Four and seven. Pray the Lord, Deacon Fields. You know, I was, I was, I was saying, Last Wednesday, I said, Deacon Fields has been the Bible class, he must be working, you know, and I was thinking about you, and don't you know the Lord will give you the desires of your heart, you know, you're here tonight, ain't that a blessing? <laughs> All right, it's a blessing, it's a blessing, amen. All right, uh, read. 1 Corinthians 4 and 7. Uh, read 3 first, uh, 6 first. See, so always a good, a good, I'm going to teach you something. Uh, 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 it's always good to read the other verse before you hit the verse that you want. All right, all right, go ahead. And these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, mm -hmm. that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, mm -hmm. that no one of you be puffed up one against another. Alright, so he's talking about uh, people uh, not being puffed up one against another. Alright, because 
of their ability because of their talents. Amen? Though, though God may give someone five talents, he may give someone two talents, and he may give someone one talent, they all are equal in the sight of God. God loves us without respect of person. But he has made us to differ. Amen? Uh, we're different. Amen? No, no two people are alike. We're all like fingerprints. Uh, uh, and we all are not alike. They even now say your eye print is different. Uh, one from another. All right? All right, read verse 7. That's what we want. For who makes something of yourself? You know, you say God made a mistake. Uh, uh, you got uh, you know, got to hear all the plays and know a lot of plays, you know. You got to accept yourself. Uh, and love yourself. Uh, because everything God made is what? Good and, and what? Very good. Amen? Love yourself. Am I right? Accept yourself. Amen? Work with God and what has given you. Amen? Hallelujah. My God, I feel a whole new preach coming up. I read. For who maketh thee to differ from another? Uh huh. And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Uh huh. Now if thou didst receive it, yeah. why dost thou glory? Yeah. As if thou hadst not received it. Now, God, now you have received gifts and talents from God. Amen? God put it in you. Amen? He put it in you uh, twice. Uh, when you were born, amen, when you were made and conceived in your mother's womb, and he put it in you when you received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen? You received a double blessing. Amen? And, 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 and when you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, he empowers you. Amen? To operate in your gifts and in the authority and the power that God has given you. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I was, I was, uh, <laughs> I was, uh, I was, uh, don't get me wrong when, I, when I, I'm about to say. I was, I was contending with an individual uh, and I was letting them know what thus saith the Lord. And they said, who are you? You know, and I, and I stood up. I said, I'm a bishop in the Lord's holy church. Huh? And the individual said, you better humble yourself. I said, why well, I gotta humble myself? Huh? That's what I am. Come on now. Huh? You follow what I'm He empowered me. Come on. Huh? And, and, I, and I was telling them what thus said the Lord. All right. huh? in, in, in humble and in meek fashion, giving them what, what God has said. So I wasn't boasting in myself. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to be high-minded, but but they questioned, uh, "Who are you? Uh, 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 who are you? Uh, you follow what I'm saying?" Uh, so so we gotta stand firm on who we are, uh, uh, and and don't take that. Uh, don't take that, because it is God that has given us the gift. Uh, it is God. Was to be glorified and magnified. Hallelujah. Huh? Yes. Oh, God. It was God. Somebody said it was God. Uh, <laughs> it was God that called you. Yeah. Huh? It was God that elected you. Yeah. Huh? It was God that anointed you. Yeah. Huh? It was Christ that died. Yeah. <laughs> it was Christ that is risen again. Huh? And if God be for you, who can be? So, so, so how shall he not bless us? Come on now. Uh, how shall he not freely give us these things? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. I thank God for the anointing. I thank God for knowing who I am. Yes. And who I am. All right.
that. Help the enemy stole it from us. Oh God. Help through Adam and Eve. Yeah. Help the Jesus came Jesus down through 40 and two generations.
to Joshua as well. Yeah. Just like I was with Moses. I'm going to be with you. Ain't that so? Uh, and was it God with Moses? He was with him. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And I'm always reminded too <coughs> when he said to Abraham, he said, Abraham, I am thy sheep uh, uh, and thy exceeding faithful. Yeah. Uh, God is our sheep.
Reverend, you take it. <laughs> you go ahead and give an answer for it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. My God, this thing is tight. Uh, but, but we can do it. Amen? Uh, is there anything too hard for God? <laughs> uh, so we're in Matthew chapter 25 and verse 15. My sister. That's, I mean, even just you speaking on it, this is one of the things that needs to be corrected in the body of Christ. Oh, wait a minute. Speak up again, say again. body of Christ because that's the foothold that Satan has. Yep. Is not allowing us mm. or hiding who mm. we are. Yeah. He'll put other things in our way to make us think, oh well, you don't have that job, so you, you're you're nothing. Or right. you don't have this type of relationship, so you're nothing. Right. You know, or he there's infirmities that you might go through. I've heard women who can't have children. Mm -hmm. So you like you're not a mother because you can't have children. Come on. But you can still be a mother. Yes. You, it may not come from your womb, but God will give you children. Yes. You know, or you can still be a father if you cannot produce of your own. Yes. God will give you children. You know what I mean? So Amen. when you place those things in your face, because basically when we're looking at everything face value, and yes. value of what God said, despite what it was. Just like Abraham and Sarah. Oh, you can't have my body. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, Sarah even laughed. You know, yeah. and she tried to tell her and she did. Yeah. You know, he's like, now you know I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, they were looking at face value of uh -huh. what it looked like at the time. You right. Know, to see above and beyond, and God wants to see above and beyond who he said we are. That's it.
of, of, of humbling us, preparing us for the next. Huh? God wants to bless us. Am I right? But he knows that you're not ready for the blessing yet. Huh? So, so you got to go through something huh? so that he can prepare you for the next. Hallelujah. Am I right? Okay, say that again. That give you a greater appreciation for who God is. Absolutely. Even in the midst of the storm, that's why your prayers should still always be continual on your tongue. Because it's not the storm, it's who in the storm bringing you. Absolutely. Yeah. Bringing you through. That's right. All right, what verse we in? We have Matthew chapter 25 of book 15 again. And I took one, he gave 5,000. Uh huh. To another two. Yeah. Another one. Uh huh. To every man according to his several abilities. Yeah. And straightway took his journey. All right. So he gave to us <coughs> according to our several ability. And we've already said it's, it, it, it may not be equal giving, but it's equal sacrifice. Right. Amen. Whatever God has given you and the assignment that he has put on your plate, he expects 100%. Out of a hundred percent. Amen. Amen. Uh, because it's all about being ready. It's all about being ready for when he comes. I know he's coming. Get ready. Am I right? I know he's coming. Let me prepare myself. Am I right? Y'all know how it is when you got guests, uh, especially guests that you admire that are coming over to your house. Especially from out of town. Uh, there's some extra cleaning going on. Am I right? There's some extra grocery shopping going on. Am I right? There's some extra bed and making going on. You follow me? All these little extras. Why? Because you know they're coming. Uh, and you are preparing yourself for their coming. Uh, how much more uh, are we to prepare? For the coming of the Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of the Lord, huh? the author and the finisher of our faith, Alpha and Omega. You follow? Um, Y'all with me tonight? Uh, let us let us let us let us prepare for the Lord's coming. Amen. Um, take a feel. Yeah, I was thinking. Um, Hallelujah. If you were going, I mean, to Africa or somewhere, and you, you you had all your possessions with you, you know, you had your Visa card, all everything, everything. And you you say, well, you got three people, and you go, let me see, I'm gonna give this one this, I'm gonna give this one that. You ain't gonna get that one that you know ain't no good. All your stuff. <laughs> all right. You're know, you gonna be wise enough to say, well, I, this one. I trust. Uh, I'm gonna give him that. This one, okay, you kind of have to uh, give him that. This one, you know what? I gotta give you something. Either at least I can, <laughs> I can give you, you know. And, and, and you have to be wise in how you distribute what you do have. Because mm -hmm. he said, "Give not that which is holy to dog." You, even though you have things, you have to be cautious as to how you distribute it. All right. So to bring that to God, God has done that. Amen? He has weighed all of us in the balance. He knows about each and every one of us, and he has given us something. Amen? According to our several abilities. Am I right? Uh, we ought to say amen. Hallelujah. God is great. All right? We're going to be 16. All right? Oh, and notice it says, and straight back, he took his journey. Amen? Jesus he walked this earth for 33, well, he walked this earth for 33 and a half years, but his ministry was three years. Huh? And straight away, he did what? He took his journey. Amen. Huh? Yeah. Got cut up. <laughs> Go ahead, Father David. I just want to say something. Uh, Thank you. We should never look at people as 
Deacon Phil said, meaning no good. Right. That's the wrong word to use mm. because we can't say God's we people are no good. Out. They might not have the ability that we expect them to have. Uh -huh. So we give according to what we see in them, their ability. Thank but you. we can't say that we don't give because they are no good. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, I just wanted to correct that because we have to watch our words. We don't want people to think that we think that people are beneath us or uh -huh. no good or something like that. Did I say that? <laughs> oh, 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 thank you. <laughs> Amen. I haven't missed you. I'm glad you got it. Thank you. Because we don't, because we are. Uh, we are made in his image and in his likeness. Am I right? Um, God loves us. Amen. God loves us. Uh, in fact, God so loved the world. Uh, and that's so love, that's an expression of deep love, deep affection and love. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Read the next verse. 16. Uh -huh. Then he, had, he that had received the five dollars went and traded with the same and made them other five dollars. All right. So, 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 he that had the five talents, all right, he took what God had given him and doubled it. Amen. Notice, he traded, meaning that he used. What God had given him. Amen. Above all else, God wants you to use what he has given you. Amen. And if you don't know what God has given you, you've got to go to the manufacturer. Uh, and seek God uh, until he reveals what he put in you. Uh, it ain't for the pastor to tell you. It ain't for the members to tell you. It ain't for the prophet to tell you. It's for you to go to God. Huh? Huh? And God will reveal it to you. Why? Because it's necessary that you know. Amen? Why? Because you're going to be judged. Amen? In the end, for what he has given you and put on your plate. Am I right? Oh, uh, look at me. When he, when he was dealing with me about the ministry, I knew he was dealing with me about the ministry, uh, Pastor Stewart, amen? And, and, and I was telling the Lord, uh, I'll go, right? Thank you, Lord. And then uh, some months passed by. I'll go. And then he hit me up in country fair. I was getting gas. Huh? And he said, when I was singing my gospel song, I thought I was having a glorious day. Huh? Huh? And then he interrupted. He said, he said, if you don't preach my word, you will never, never amount to nothing. Uh, he told me that, just like that. Uh, and, and, and what did I do? I repented. Uh, uh, I repented tears down my eyes, and I said, Lord, I'll go. Uh, and then it was, it, was, it was in December, I remember, and I, and I told Pastor Radcliffe, uh, and I was shocked. She put me up Christmas Eve. Y'all remember that? Uh, uh, put me up Christmas Eve. Uh, and I preached. Uh, people came out. <laughs> On Christmas Eve, people came out uh, for my trial sermon. Uh, it was it's the blood that makes the difference. Uh, hallelujah. Preach uh, my God. My God. I fell it off of my God. <laughs> My God, my God. See what I'm saying? But, 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 he had a question. Huh? God, 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 God has to push us sometimes. Amen? Huh? Am I right? Uh, so what is God touching on your heart about? What is he pushing you uh, into? Huh? Hallelujah. Go ahead. I think a lot of times we second guess ourselves. Yes! You know, we, we, we think less of ourselves yes. than we ought to. Yes! Uh, and, and before he called you, you had to know what your purpose was. Yes! And a lot of times, we don't know what our purpose is. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't know what your purpose is, you can't fulfill what God has put you in. Oh, yeah. 
You have to know what your purpose is. Yes. And walk in that purpose. Yes. And if you try to go any other way other than your purpose, yes. you're not gonna you're not gonna fare well. Not gonna fare well. Not gonna do it. Not gonna succeed. Amen. Instead of asking for everything else, we should ask God, what is your will concerning right. me? Uh -huh. yes. yes. And and I'm glad you said that because that was gonna be my next statement. You know, in order for us to find it out, we have to have a fair life. Oh, yes. Amen? And seek God. Uh, and He will reveal it. Amen? Uh, and, 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 and when He reveals it, you know, uh, quite naturally, uh, let me say it this way, in your own ability, you're not qualified. Uh, but, but that's why He anoints you. Uh, so he can get the glory. Yes. Uh, yes. So he can get the glory in the honor. Yes. Amen? Amen? So everybody in the Lord is here. Yes. You follow? Thank you. I got, I got, I got friends uh, that I grew up with in, in, in the neighborhood. Homies. Uh, 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 and when, they, when, they, when they, they come to the church, they hear the word preached or they hear the word taught. They start crying. They said, that's Frankie? That's Frankie? Oh, Frankie, we didn't think he was going to amount to nothing. Huh? But God! But God. Huh? Yeah. God! Yeah. Huh? Saints of God, is in him we live. Yeah, right. huh? Is in him we move. Yeah, right. huh? Is in him we have our faith. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Of yourself, you can do nothing. Did he say that? But with Christ, you can do what? Oh. All things. Yeah. Amen? I got, I got Bishop Hancock on the tape. And he said when, when God saved him, well, the first thing he believed was God can do anything. Huh? Uh, you got to believe in your heart of hearts that God can do anything. Yeah. Amen? Amen? You got to hold to that. You got to believe on that. Amen? And then you gotta try him. Yeah. Huh? Now, now, the storm's gonna come. Try him. The rain is gonna come. Try him. Huh? Every man's work is going to be what? Try to see what sort it is. Huh? But you just remain what? Faithful. Huh? How long should you remain faithful? Faithful unto death. Huh? No surrender, no retreat. Huh? Be true to your God. Huh? Be like Job. Though you slay me, yet will I trust you. Be like Job. Lord, I know that this is you. Huh? Huh? And, and I'll see you again. Job was the first prophet that talked about resurrection. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 We can, we can believe something for somebody else uh -huh. more than we can believe it for our own self. Yes. When people ask us for prayer, we can believe that God is going to be kind of them or heal them. Yes. Or them. But as soon as the crisis hit us, uh -huh. we second guess ourselves. Yes. Huh? Absolutely. Yeah. And we have to believe God the same at all times. All times. Regardless. Amen. Um, Mother Davis? Oh, I was going to say, uh, once you find out what your purpose is or what, what your gift is, mm. and you begin to walk in it, mm. at the same time, you have to have a reverence and a fear because when you are dealing with people, you got to make sure, like if I'm speaking to somebody and I know the Lord is telling me, to say something, I don't know how to just write out and say it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't know just what to say from the beginning. So I have to like put fillers in, right. fill around it to, to the anointing fall on me and the right words come out. You know, because you got to be careful. You don't want to offend God's people and you don't want to tell them the wrong thing. So you got to like feel around if you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. you do, but you, you got to wait until the anointing really press up on you and, and then you can't it's like you can't 
get enough out. You just continue going on and on and on because uh, the Lord is dealing with you and you want the person to see who God is and what he's about. So, you know, you have to, uh, the Bible tells us to walk in the spirit. So like you say, you, we need a prayer life. Absolutely. We really need a prayer yes. life. You know, when, when, when the Lord is dealing with you, you need to know how to go back and, and kind of tune, tune, fine tune in with him so you won't say or act the wrong way. Amen. God will lead you. Yeah. He'll guide you. He gave you the talent. Amen. He's the owner and the operator. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and he will let you know what you are, are, are ordained to do. Amen. And what's helpful for that person. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. He knows. Amen? Yeah. Uh, and it's up to us to search it out. Mm -hmm. It's up to us to seek. Mm -hmm. It's up to us to knock. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's up to us to find. Mm -hmm. Amen? And to ask. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Um, all right. Go ahead. Where are you going? The, the things that God has given us, he's given us forgiveness. We should forgive. He's given us grace and mercy. We should have grace and mercy. Mm -hmm. God sent Jesus to bless us, and, and when he blesses us, we're supposed to bless other people. You know, uh, God has given us so much, and we need to give back some of the things that he's given us. And don't be like that man, he forgave all that money, mm -hmm. and, then, and then somebody owes him a dime, and he went and tried to choke him to death. And, and, and I just want to change that word, uh, give back. Uh, I want to say, operate in. Uh, what God has given you. Amen? Uh, God has given you compassion, like you were saying, love, faith. Uh, those are gifts. Amen? Uh, sinners don't have that kind of faith uh, to believe in Christ. Now, they may have the faith that they can build a, a, a business, uh, do, some, do, do some other things that are worldly, but they don't have the faith to believe that they can do godly things. Uh, and you having faith to believe that you can do godly things, God esteems you high. Come on now. Uh, uh, do you have to be all the day? Oh, God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. All right. What verse be? I like this part. I'm encouraged. Okay. Thank God. My, my, my chest is sticking out. Yeah. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I know I ain't got one, but it's sticking out. <laughs> hey! I mean, why are you just gone? Uh, so I said, go. I mean, if God be for you, uh, if God be for you, uh, who then can be against you? Uh, I mean, against all. Uh, that's what God is about. Uh, if, you, if you understand and read about uh, the Lord of hosts, uh, uh, he, he asks Gideon, is he the God of his all? Ask Joshua, is he the God of his all? Uh, uh, he's the God of his all. Uh, he'll stand up, ask Jehoshaphat. Uh, uh, he'll tell you, hallelujah, that when three armies are coming up against you, all you need to do is call
uh, the Babylonian king, uh, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, he'll testify. Uh -huh. Huh? 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 I that, the, that the God of the three Hebrew boys, that's God. Huh? Huh? The king, the big man who saw Daniel, huh? he'll testify huh? that, that Daniel's God is the God of the human birth. Huh? <laughs>
Yes. He said they didn't even fight. Right. They didn't even fight. Yeah. Even when they came to tie him up and they and, 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 and Nebuchadnezzar was trying to entice um, intimidation. Yeah. I'm you know, saying, well, let's turn up the fire seven more times. Yeah. Right. They, they, they still did not flinch. Yeah. They didn't flinch because they knew who their God was, yeah. who their God is, yeah. and who had them. So they didn't even, that's what made them to the point where when you when you know who God is, you won't turn back. Don't turn back. You won't turn back. Don't turn and back. And so when they were sitting there in the Lord showed you said, you didn't see them argue. Yeah. You didn't see them fight back. Mm -hmm. They told them, and as a matter of fact, we're not even going to argue with you. We're not careful. <laughs> you go ahead and you take, do what you want to do. He said, and, and, and as they were doing it, they want to say all enemies get burnt up Burn right up. in their face. Thank you, Jesus. Before they even got put in the fire. Oh, so I'm like, right. this is why he was just showing me when you stand in me, oh, when you me. stand in me, yeah. I have you. Don't worry about oh, the, 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 the intimidation come. Don't worry about the Thank prayer you, because it cannot touch you. Thank you, Lord. You can't touch oh, you. Can't touch you. Yeah. Holy Amen. 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 All right. All right. Diggy Fields, I'm going to hit you then we got to move on. I was thinking, you know, you have to have a prayer life. Those, those, yes. those three Hebrew boys, they were threatened with death. And yes. they said, we still will pray and talk to our God. You know, people don't have a relationship with God. You know, that's the problem and stuff like that. You know, people used to, people used to pray, Lord, you know, protect my child on their way to school. You know, protect this and that. Cover them with the blood. Cover them. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and people are leaving without communicating with God. And yes. I think this is why a lot of things are happening because people are not communicating with God. Let me piggyback on what he said. Joseph, Joseph uh, was betrayed by his brother, thrown in that ditch in that, in that, and came and was taken out, brought into slavery. Uh, and then uh, went to his master's house. God was with him, blessed him tremendously. Uh, accused of uh, a rape. Uh, got thrown in jail. Right? In jail, God blessed him. Uh, and then, and then uh, through all of that, uh, he told one that you're going to leave. Don't re remember me. Uh, God forgot about him until the appointed time. Right? Uh, and then, then got him out of jail. And, and God bless him. Am I right? Uh, now, now, through all that, uh, Joseph could have been bitter. Uh, but, but because he was afraid of somebody. Because he knew it is God. Uh, when, when it came time to, to have judgment on his brother. Uh, he told his brothers, hey, I ain't got to worry. Uh, because I know why God sent me here. Uh, he sent me here to be a deliverer. Uh, uh, you got to know why God is sending you. Yeah, yeah. uh, then I can take all the bitterness away. Oh, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. I'm oh, yeah. preaching and teaching. Uh, you can never call all the bitterness uh, to leave you because you understand why your God has allowed you. Uh, Just doesn't allow stuff to happen to you, just to happen to you. There's a reason. Uh, and when it's happening, 
Hallelujah. Then God allowed Joseph to stand settle in the land of Goshen. <laughs> when you go through, he'll bring you to a place of peace. <laughs> Uh-huh. And likewise, he that had received two also gained other two. 
All right, so, so he increased. Amen. God wants you to increase. Am I right? Hallelujah. And, and, and God does not want you to be stagnant. You still testifying about what happened to you 20 years ago and have new, no new testimony. That ain't God. God, God gives you testimony. Yes, he does. Amen. Come on, it's a lot. Amen. You know what I'm saying? The saints of God should never be stagnant. Amen. Let me, I'm going to say it this way. Don't reach a point in your own life where it's the pinnacle of glory and you can't go no higher. Never say to yourself that I have arrived. <laughs> Y'all remember that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Huh? Y'all know what I'm saying? So always keep reaching. Never be satisfied. Come on now. Huh? Come on. I'm going to hunger Come on. and thirst. Come on. Always for righteousness. That's it. That's it. Huh? That's it. I'll never say to yourself that 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 this is all I can do. Mm -hmm. And this is this is all that is about. Mm -hmm. Because your God has an endless supply. Yeah. Huh? Do you all believe that? Yeah. Um, right. I believe it. So that means there's no limit for me. No limit! No <laughs> limit! I'll be no limit for you because there's no limit for God. <laughs> Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hold on. No way. Hallelujah. Huh? Don't let it choke up. Come on now. Can't exhaust you. Come on. Huh? Never be satisfied. Come on. Huh? And if y'all understand what I mean by what I said, you know, you can be content by what you have. Huh? Uh, but, but don't be sad. Don't become complacent. Don't become at ease in Zion. Huh? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yahweh? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. The children of Israel, they built a glorious temple of Solomon. Glorious, beautiful temple. Amen? It got burnt up, burnt down. Right? They built another temple after they came out of captivity. And they always compare that newly temple that they made to the other temple. Yeah. Their glory. Always living in the past. Huh? Your past glory. You follow? Me? Don't live in the past glory. Keep reaching. Keep pressing. Huh? We move from glory to glory. From faith to faith. Amen? Hallelujah. God, uh, uh, help me out if y'all if y'all understand what I'm saying. God, God is like an organism. He's continually moving. Yes, he is. Huh? Yes, he is. He, he's continually, I feel like what he said, he's continually making things new. Yes. God, he, man, that's what I'm trying to say. Thank you. Progressive God. He's a progressive God. Yes, he is. Huh? Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Don't expect him to say the same. Don't expect him to say the same. God's always changing. Always changing. That's his move. That's what he does. Amen? My mother David. I was going to say, in God's movement, is like you say, for our benefit. But because we have to grow. Wow. Oh, Jesus. You know, oh, we son. can't, in order to be transformed, yes. you have to continue moving. Yeah. In, in, in order to change, you can't stay at one place. Yeah. You can't stay in the past. You got to keep moving forward. Keep moving that, that, forward. That forwardness is what brings about the change. Yeah. You no, know, because God is not the same where he just stands still. God wants the best for us, and his best is to be glorified. Yeah. And in order to be glorified, you got to be changed. Yeah. You know, you have to be changed according to God. God's word. Yeah. So if, if God, God's word is not, uh, it's inexhaustible, you cannot exhaust it. 
So God's word got all kind of arms and legs. Um, it means so many different Jesus. things. So that means your body, uh, your mind, brother, is going to continue to change because change. God is study giving you revelation. Yeah. yeah. Look in the mirror. Yeah. You don't look the same that you did 10 years ago. Huh? Maybe five years ago. You changed. Yes. Amen. Uh, and, and God is about growth. Come on now. Grow in grace. Come on. And in the knowledge yes. of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, tribulation work in patience. Patience what? Experience. That's how we grow. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. That's how we change. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Uh, we got to change. Come on now. Uh, we, yes. we shall not all sleep, but we all shall be <laughs>
as he told people in secular employment, work as unto the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. The word says not many, not many might are called. Yeah. You know, he, he takes the ignorant and unlearned people. Come on. <laughs> because he can get more glory out of that. Yeah. And, and he wants to supply. Huh? He wants to supply. Doesn't he? Allow him to supply. Are we? Who we have? I mean, After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh uh -huh. and reckoneth with them. All right, so this is the point of the, the Bible study. God gave everyone talents, everyone but one misused what God had given them. Amen? And the Lord came. Sunday we preached about the virgins. They were only there watching for the Lord to return. Right? Three wise, three foolish. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. Five, five wise, five foolish. That y'all can't teach. <laughs> and, 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 and now he said, not only should you be watching, but you should be doing what I called you to do. What I gave you ability to do. Amen? I had a good friend, he used to tell me, your best ain't down here. Uh, your best isn't down here. There remains another rest to the people of God. Uh, you should work as unto the Lord. Amen? Uh, now, some people are going to work third. Some people are going to work sixth. Some people are going to work a hundred. Huh? It's not equal giving, it's equal sacrifice. Hmm? They may ask, I'm just saying, they may ask for uh, $50 in an offer, and I may only have $10. Somebody may have 150 they put in 50. I put in my 10. Huh? Who made the sacrifice? Right. And what does God look at? He looks at the what? The sacrifice. You follow? God looks at your sacrifice. This is some good stuff here. All right, my sister. Bishop, is it, is it, uh, is it that God said he gave some 30, some 60, some 100 for us as humans to see because, or for us to recognize because what, what you might, I might look at somebody and say, well, you know what? He ain't doing the best or she ain't doing the best. And that's the best that they can do. That's the best of their ability. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is God have us to see it that way. He broke it down to us so we can, uh, understand it that way because to God all of it is a hundred. Yes. When you do your when you do the best that God wants you to do, your ten percent or your thirty percent is a hundred to God. Amen. You know, so he broke it down so we'll understand it on that level. My ability is not the same as yours. Yes. I could be the thirty or the ten percent. For you the hundred, but at the same time God looking at me on the same uh, level as obedience as you. Yeah. You know, so with God, it's all a hundred. Yeah. Because the scripture says, his thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. And notice, God's mathematical equations are not like our mathematical Come on now. Huh? Uh, That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. One can chase a thousand, two can chase what? How many? Ten thousand. You would think uh, two thousand, but with God, it's multiplied. Yes. 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 And, and God made us different. Yes. We're not all the same. That's it. Huh? Yes. Um, and, and we all got a uh, reason why I'm going to get to your answer. Because so, you know, we don't judge one another. He lets him sin on us. Don't judge. Help out. Yeah. Do what 